Hello friends, welcome to your channel Reveal Day to Z. So in this video I'm going to tell you how you can find the scales of the first 100 numbers in a very quick succession, how you can learn all those numbers. Now I request you people to watch this video till the end and then practice for half an hour and this is my word, these are my words that you will be able to learn the scales of the first 100 numbers. Okay, now let's start it. So the total numbers from 1 to 100 are 100. Out of this, it is expected that you know the uh, scales of first 9 numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, if you know the scales of these numbers, you must be knowing the scales of 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. So, uh, actually, for in the first 100 numbers, you have to learn 81 numbers because you already know the scales of the these 19 numbers which are written above. So, you are left, left with 81 numbers now. We'll start the method and do watch this video till the end. Okay, now let's find the scales of the numbers ending in 5. So all those numbers that is, uh, ends in 5, for example, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55. What you have to do is, the last two digits of those numbers will always be 25 and the rest of the digits are obtained by multiplying the 10th digit of the number by the number succeeding it. This means the last two digit of every number that ends in 5 uh, is 25 and the rest of the digits how you can find it let's see it by an example now suppose you have to find the scale of 25 then what you did is last two digits are 25 you have written it as it is the rest of the digits you will take the tens part of 25 that is 2 and you will multiply it bit by the number succeeding it that is 3 2 is the number at tens part and then you have multiplied it with the number succeeding it that is 3 so your final answer is 625 Similarly, for 75, last two digits are 25, the rest of the digits 7 multiplied by the number succeeding it, that is 8, 7 into 8, 56, 56, 25. Similarly, for 95 scale, 9 into 10, 90, last two digits 25, 90, 25. This is very simple. And so, you are now left with 72 numbers. You have learnt. 28 numbers out of which 19 numbers you knew 9 numbers I made you learn right now so now let's see further now before actually going to the method which we are which we have to adopt we will see the scales of the numbers starting from 51 to 60 now they have a very peculiar thing so I'm uh, introducing that thing to you at this moment now if you have to find the scale of 51 what you can do is you have to scale the last digit 1 and then what you have to do is you have to add that one with 25 so you will basically get 26 as your first two digits and 01 as your last digit similarly for 52 what you will do is you will take 25 only you will add it to the unit place with the number at the unit place and scale the unit place also so you will be got 25 plus 2 is 27 and 04 Similarly for 53 you have to add 25 with 3 and scale the 3 that is 2809 similarly for 54 scale so in each and every case what you have to do is you have to add 25 with the unit number and scale the unit digit and you will get the scale of that number so this is basically applicable for the numbers starting from 51 to 59 okay so you have learnt eight more numbers you will exclude 55 because we have counted it earlier also so you are left with now 64 numbers that you have to learn so till this time we have learned 36 numbers we are left with 64 numbers okay for 64 numbers what you will do is you will use this formula now suppose for example we have to find the scale of 12 what you will do is you will use a general formula that you can apply for any number that is a plus b into a minus b plus b square now this is a very simple formula and the method is also very simple you can say it now in this case a is your whole complete number 12 and b is your last digit 2 so what you'll do is you'll do 12 plus 2 into 12 minus 2 plus 2 square so 12 plus 2 is 14 into 12 minus 2 is 10 140 plus 4 144 so that's the scale of 12 Let's see another example. Now suppose you have to find the scale of 68. Now what you will do is, 
again use the same formula and you will get 68 plus 8 76 and 68 minus 8 60 plus square of 8 that is 64 now if you multiply 76 with 60 now basically what you have to do is you have to multiply 76 with 6 and then add 0 at the end so 76 into 6 is 4560 you will add 64 to it you will get 4624 now this is very simple and this is one of the most effective way to find the square of any number now use this so i'll say that you should use this method to find the scares of first 100 numbers i hope you like this video please subscribe and hit the like button thanks thanks for watching